This afternoon, Casey Anthony met with her home confinement manager to map out where she could go this week and when. Casey is asking for more freedom. In court papers, she's asking permission to travel to unnamed places of interest to aid in the search for Kaylee. A spokesman at the Orange County Jail said this kind of request is highly unusual and would likely require Casey's attorney to be with her at all times. For his part, Jose Baez has argued since this July interview that confining Casey stalled the search for Kaylee. We're going to look in areas where the police didn't. As early as this weekend, the head of Texas EquiSearch tells us he'd like to resume his group's recovery efforts in and around Orlando. And Tim Miller says he would love to have Casey's help. Jose Baez would not comment. However, his spokesman tells us that Casey is not interested in helping Texas EquiSearch because that would be equivalent to admitting that her daughter is dead. The only searches she wants to participate in, according to the spokesman, are live sightings of Kaylee, the efforts to bring the child home alive. Wouldn't those searches require her to go out of state, Bart Williams, with WNDB, if she wants to follow up on li alleged live sightings? It would require her to travel out of state, no doubt about that, Nancy. And you know, there's also been some, some sightings like in the North Georgia mountains uh, up in White County. There's been some alleged sightings at the Orlando International Airport. As a matter of fact, Baez is trying to get a full manifest for one flight in particular. But if there was any evidence of Kaylee being there, we'd have the videotape, which we don't have. Also, there's been sightings in Puerto Rico and, and of course, in Dallas-Fort Worth. Isn't it true, Mike Brooks, former fan with the FBI, that police got the manifest from AirTran yep. for a flight from Orlando to Atlanta? Yep. On that plane, there were two children, and both of them were accounted for. They were not Kelly. They were not Kelly. They worked with AirTran corporate security. Nothing fitting that description. Also, in Atlanta here with the Atlanta Police Department at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, they reviewed video. Nothing came up. To Dr. Michael Bell, Joining us from Miami is the Palm Beach County Chief Medical Examiner. Dr. Bell, thank you for being with us. Uh, this brings to mind two recent cases, that of Lori Hacking, whose husband uh, threw her body into a landfill. She was barely found. There was some uh, bone and hair that was found to identify her versus the discovery of Lacey Peterson. She and her unborn child Connor had been thrown into San Francisco Bay. They washed ashore. When a body is put in a landfill versus water, how does the decomposition of the body compare? Well, I'm not sure it's necessarily going to be uh, worse than if it was in water versus uh, landfill. Again, it's more dependent upon the uh, environmental temperature. Mm -hmm. And especially down here in Florida, uh, the body's going to go bad uh, fairly quickly. And with all the rain uh, that has accumulated in Florida and also in a landfill, doctor, you have the constant upheaval of adding new garbage, the garbage getting rotated around because of new garbage coming in, which further disassembles the body. You're absolutely correct. Uh, things get a lot worse in a landfill. You get uh, post-mortem uh, fractures and um, the body tears becomes in completely the body. disassembled. Uh, I want to go back out to our lawyers, Raymond Judice, Mickey Sherman. Uh, Ray, what would police have to go through to install GPS? Uh, a simple, it's about that big. It's like a little. It's an ankle bracelet, Nancy. I mean, no, it's really well, not. No, no, not on her, on her or her family's car. Oh, it's even more simple. I mean, that could be placed anywhere in the car. They have uh, But legally, devices. what do you have to go through? Is oh, it like to, a search oh, for them. oh, yes, they'd have to get a search warrant. I'm sorry. The mechanics of it are simple. A warrant is necessary, and that's not that complicated to get. To Mickey Sherman, defense attorney and author of How Can You Defend Those People, Mickey, uh, would it be any form of obstruction of justice if someone gave Casey Anthony, the taunt mom, a secret cell phone to be using that was not tapped in order to avoid the tap by police? I don't think so, unless there's a specific order that she can only use certain phones. I mean, it's, it's more than negative. Unless she, it's, she's forbidden to do it by a court order, then she can basically do anything she wants that's within the law, and that's not a problem. But what about Mickey, the person that supplies her the phone, 
that is specifically to avoid a police tap. Well, but it's not to avoid a crime. It's to avoid a police tap. That's I don't right. know that that's an obstruction of justice. I, I agree with Mickey. So, Mike Brooks, what do you think about the theory that someone may provide her with a secret cell phone not listed in her name? Well, they can find out, Nancy, because there are technologies now that can say, okay, where is a certain signal coming from? Where's it going to? So they should be able to use a triangulation to find out if, in fact, if she's at her home or at Bias's office, whether or not her cell phone is being used there that belongs to her and in between. But wouldn't they need to know that cell number? There is, uh, without getting away, there is technology to determine whether or not a signal is coming from inside that house that is not already, that is not already tapped under court order. To Mark Smith, pol polygraph expert and VP of New Jersey Polygraphists, uh, Mark, thank you for being with us. Mark, the defense has made uh, an array of motions, one of them to get the history of polygraph machines that may or uh, have been or may be used to give polygraphs in this case. Why do you need the machine's history? Is it like uh, a DUI machine? Well, you would hope that they're using modern technology, a computerized polygraph instead of the older style. There's nothing wrong with the older ones, but you wouldn't use a manual typewriter to type a letter today either. And the computerized polygraph is, a, uh, is light years ahead in technology. Uh, but there's no reason why that information shouldn't be given to them Including if they the want it. But, charts, questions. But, you know, another question back to the lawyers, to you, Ray Giudice, isn't this moot at this juncture to be asking for all the evidence in a murder case when it's just a child neglect case right now? Yeah, that's Baez's point. He's got to try to make a link between all this forensic evidence and the polygraph examination to the, to the case at bar. And I think he's got a, a good, good argument. Mickey Sherman, what is she doing at her defense attorney's office all day long. I say she's kicked back in a conference room watching cable TV and yakking on the phone. If I was representing the Rolling Stones, I couldn't spend that much time with All them. day, I, I every understand that. day, she's, at her in her lawyer's office. I think a, it's a way just to get out of the house. That's a lot of lifetime movies she's going through. I Man, mean, you're not kidding. You can only you can only debrief your client for so long. Uh, that's a mystery to me. I think she's just hiding. Uh, Nikki Pierce, what hours does she spend at her attorney's office every day? Generally, it's Monday through Friday, 10 to 4. Sometimes it's longer um, on Friday, for instance. Did you say 10 to, to 4? I did say 10 to 4. That's usually Holy what it is. Holy Okay. She ought to get her own office. Uh, to <laughs> Brenda in Michigan. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? Um, my question is, if she wants to go out and search secretly, could that, you think that could be because she um, knows where Kaylee is? To Leonard Padilla, we saw in the Scott Peterson case, Peterson kept circling back and looking out over the San Francisco Bay. I don't think Casey Anthony would be that stupid. Oh, yeah. She figures she's in complete control, and I can tell you this. She knows where the body is, and my only concern would be that she would go out there and attempt to move it or do something stupid because she is that idiotic about doing things. She figures, I'm in control. I know where the body's at. A lot of other people know where the body's at, too, because between the 26th and the 28th, I'll tell you when she got rid of the body, was prior to the 27th when she called Amy and says, I got rid of the smell in the car. The night of the 26th, she parked the car there at Amscott. The morning of the 27th, she went and picked the car back up, went to her mom's. She called J.C. Penney's, and there's a couple of signals down there in that area where she spent about 15 minutes. That's where the body's going to be found, and I'm telling you, Tim, Mil Tim Miller's going to get it done. Now, She's are you somehow uh, married to the idea that the remains were in that dumpster near Amscott Cash, uh, check cash? No, no, no. We've, uh, we've regurgitated and talked about that, and Rob has come up with the, the pings where the only answer, unless somebody picked her up at Amscott the morning of the 27th, she had to get back in her own car. It was not a Leonard, gas yet. Gotta, uh, before you go to break, i got to ask you, do you think that anyone, friend or family, would supply her with a secret cell phone? Absolutely, yes. Yes. I do, too. What do you think about the notion that the family cars have GPS trackers on them? Oh, I don't think they do right now, but uh, uh, there's, there's really no need for it. They're, you know, they're high profile, and uh, law enforcement can track them anytime they want physically, so I don't think they have GPS trackers on them. And uh, as somebody said earlier, I do not believe the judge is going to let her get out to go out and mess with evidence.